Hello, I'm Niall Austin. Uh, I am the founder of a company called Omnimotion Technologies. We're based in Dublin and we specialise in motion control and gesture recognition, uh, content and development. And what is motion control and gesture recognition? So basically, if you think about uh, it, it's about the way uh, people interact with machines. And what, uh, what interested me was the fact that the processor has developed at a uh, really rapid rate over the last 70 or 80 years. So you think of Moore's Law and every 18 to 24 months it doubled in, in capacity or halved in size. And at the same time we're still typing like we were in 1930. We were using the mouse in 1971 onwards and we're using the swipe in the last 15 years. But motion for me is a much more intuitive way to interact with machines. One of the questions people ask is, is, is it not difficult to sort of, uh, sort of get that? It's not, it's much more intuitive. How long did it take you to learn how to type? Uh, it probably took you quite a while, but using gestures is a very uh, natural, basic way. Natural human to, thing to do. Uh, very much so, yeah. And, and by parallel, it's, it's a bit like the Wii and Leap Motion, isn't it? Yeah, but what we've but done your is, technology is... We've developed a proprietary technology that basically does what the Wii or what Kinect or what Leap does, but it works through any device with a webcam. So if you have a camera on it, yeah, and it has a graphics card and a basic processor, ours will work on it. So on your mobile phone, on your laptop, your tablet, your desktop. And so and how's it working? So how it works is, we, we, the particular technology we have is we recognize changes in the environment that you're, you're filming against. So uh, I suppose as a basic thing is there's a standard camera in this tablet and if I, um, if I uh, put it in there I can start to flap and the bird will, will start to fly and then if I stop flapping he starts to fall. Um, so that's on its most simple basis. This is something that we designed to help kids to, um, to uh, get physically active and grow what we call key stage skills, which is ambidexterity and spatial awareness and hand-eye coordination. So they're very simple gestures, right down to very complex pressing buttons and navigating menus and things like that. And you were showing me earlier a, a, a swimming stimulation. We were, we were commissioned by uh, the European Olympic Committee, which is the governing body for the 49 national Olympic committees in Europe, to re-engage young people in the sport. What we saw was that they spent an average of, uh, in the UK and Ireland, 18 hours per week playing uh, games and on social networks and we're spending about 31 minutes a week playing sport and we thought if we use digital channels to re-engage them in sport uh, it would be effective so we created simulations where you played in a social context online uh, you were able to play simulations physically participate in them it gave you the knowledge of how to play and it also um, it really gave you the confidence to play and then we would educate you and then hopefully graduate you into your local club and that was the strategy we adopted. Uh, and what uh, do you think are the, the future applications that your technology will be used for? So there's a couple of key areas that we work in. Um, the four key verticals that we're interested in are uh, number one is in display advertising because you can interact with the ads and it engages the consumer on a deeper level. Number two, we work in the health area. So we're working, for example, rehabilitation of stroke victims and the kind of movements that you need to do or the movements you use to play. So we're working on that basis. Number three is what we call second screen television where you can play along with a game. So if it was something like Total Wipeout as a TV show, which is an obstacle course game, you could jump the obstacles and circumvent the, the obstacles in the same way the customer, the, the participants do. Uh, and you're effectively playing real time against the players. And uh, we are also uh, interested in the uh, broader area of, of, um, of game development and apps. And we have an SDK where we encourage developers to try it out for free on motionsdk.com and they can uh, try and, and integrate this into some of their own uh, applications themselves. Niall, thanks for talking to me today. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you.